Okay, here's our basket strainer. This is what it looks like, like straight out the box. Of course, this is the part to stop the water. Okay, I like this particular basket strainer because it's really easy to hook up. It's about the easiest one they got out there. Okay, this is going to be the nut for the uh, tailpiece. This is the tailpiece washer. And this is the nut that will compress this down to hold up against the sink. And here we'll have a washer that'll go between the sink and this piece here. And also, before we get started, what we're going to do is get our putty. Here's our plumber's putty. Get it nice and mushy, or it'll flow real easy. Should I say sit real nice and tight? Okay. What we do is take it. As you can see, I smush it out. Just like Play-Doh. Set it on my lap. Then I'll take the basket strainer here. Take the putty. And go around the top of the basket strainer. Placing the putty on there. Okay, now we're here at the other end. This excess, we'll just kind of trim that off. The rest back in here, kind of smoosh down on a little bit so it'll stay in place when you go to flip it over and squish it down into the hole of the sink. Okay, from here, let's go to the top of the sink, let's push down on it, squish it down so that this end comes out of the bottom and we can hook the other parts too. Okay, all right, okay, now we have our basket strainer and here's the top of the sink inside of it. What we're gonna do is take our basket strainer, straighten it up. I usually like to try to let it line up with the letters. You probably can't see it. And then just take our fingers and thumbs and just kind of squish down on it. Push it right down in place there. So that excess putty squishing up. We'll just scrape that off there later with a screwdriver. Just go around and pull it up out of there. Okay. Okay. Now, that's pretty tight. Now let's go up underneath and hook up the uh, compression nuts. Now, from up underneath here, you see that the putty is squished through. I usually just like to take my hand and just peel the excess of that putty off because we're going to squish it down a little more when we go to tighten up the basket string on the bottom here. Okay. Let's get that excess off of there. Okay. Now, this part here is the bell show you this here. This is the bell. What I like to do before I put the bell on is take my channel lock, I mean my pliers, and kind of bend the ends of it. And just kind of go around bending the end. That way it'll give me a nice tight fit. Because in some cases the uh, washer on it is not enough to get it tight. Okay, see how I just kind of crimp the edges of that? here. Okay. Put those edges. Okay. Now before we put the bell on it, let's grab our washer. Let's put the washer right here. The washer first. This is another caution to seal it. Now we'll put our bell on. We'll slide right over here. And from there, we're gonna put our mount nut mounted to the seal. plumbing, you'll see that this is, this particular basket strainer is the best way to go. It's nice, easy, quick to hook up. Okay, now, we've got that nice and snug with our hand. Let's get our pliers, get a better grip so we can go ahead and tighten up real tight. Because we don't want anything to leak. Putty up on top is squishing down in there, so we're getting a nice tight, tight, tight seal. So we shouldn't have any problems with any water. Okay. Now remember this part here. 
this nut and the tailpiece washer, which will go here. And we'll just set it in place right now because we're not ready to hook that part up yet anyway, because this will be the drain that ties into this. Okay, so we'll just set that there just so we won't lose it. 